Oh man. Two large backpacks, two very large backpacks. One of them being camera specific for my recording equipment. The other is clothes and shoes. Rule number one when traveling, especially if I'm vlogging, or rule number one when you're traveling no matter what, never ever ever record yourself while driving. Clearly I'm breaking that rule. The second rule, which I won't break, is not leaving town or state without a full tank of gas. Because you just don't know what might happen. Look at this thing. Does my car look dirty? Should I get a car wash? Always, always, always something about getting a car wash. It's like a shower, but for your emotional part of your soul. The venue Lifetime Fitness is in Lakeville, Minnesota, which is a suburb about 25 or 30 minutes just south of the Twin Cities. Twin Cities being Minneapolis and St. Paul. And in order to get there from where I live, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, it takes about five and a half hours, assuming no crazy traffic and no crazy weather. And there was a snowstorm that hit the Minnesota area around Monday, so two days before I left. But thankfully, I had pretty smooth sailing and I was able to get there in about five hours because I like to, I like to speed. My car too is kind of built for this type of solo type of adventures. It's technically not a sports car, my Mercedes C300 Coupe, obviously Coupe is two-door, is classified to be like a touring vehicle. Um, it's, a, it's a touring type of car. So interior is very spacious for two people or less, which is what I'm doing in this case. But if you squeeze in someone in the back, they're not gonna be comfortable there for more than 15 to 30 minutes. So yeah, I mean, it was a very, very smooth car ride there. Um, I think I got about 30 to maybe 31 miles to the gallon for this trip because I actually took no stops whatsoever. I was doing cruise control really well. Um, again, sped a little bit, thankfully <laughs> didn't get pulled over and uh, thankfully no accidents, which is all you can really ask for. So I really don't mind long trips like this, except for maybe my lower back, which starts to hurt around six hours in. So uh, I was fine for that. And even growing up as a kid, me and my mom and my dad, because I'm an only child, we traveled a lot by car because we couldn't afford airplane tickets. So we would travel to Canada and back, Canada, Toronto specifically is where some of my extended family is. Um, so yeah, I'm, road trips are perfectly fine by me, even going solo. Just got into the hotel. It's like six degrees here. It's weird because it was like 25 when I left Milwaukee. Obviously, we're a little bit further north and it's a lot closer at night instead of day. So I haven't eaten yet. I haven't used the bathroom on the five and a half hour trip. I'm gonna check in, get settled in. I gotta find some booed. Wow, I gotta find some food and booze. It's been a while. There's also one big thing I totally forgot to do given I worked a full day today and had to drive here. Um, I forgot to eat. <laughs> so what do you guys think? Should I order Mexican, American, or pizza? What do you think? Pizza it is. Let's see what's in here. Uh. It's gonna be a good day tomorrow. It's gonna be a good weekend this weekend. I have a really, really good feeling about it. <sighs> so it's around, it's almost 6.30. Um, we had to report there at nine o'clock for the men's 
singles matches, uh, specifically for mine. I'm playing in the 4-5, 18 and over division. I think they did combine it with 35 and over uh, to make it a bigger draw. But we'll grab some coffee at the hotel. Thankfully, it's free. And then um, shower, double check I have everything, and then get going. I'm going to see a uh, good old friend at Lifetime Fitness, which is where the tournament's being held at. So the format of this tournament is that you're broken up not only by your level division, um, you know, like the 2-5, 3-0, 3-5, 4-5, and then I think it's called Pro, aka Open Level, if you guys have a tennis background, but you're also broken down by age division. So for me, I am playing in singles for the 4-5, 19-plus, and, and I was actually combined with the 4-5, 35-plus for singles because otherwise it wouldn't be big enough. So that's actually kind of normal. I think there are other brackets that combined age groups. They would never combine age divisions, but they did combine age groups for quite a few brackets for both singles, doubles, and mixed doubles. The weirdest thing about pickleball tournaments, if you guys have ever, ever played one, is that even if you lose in any of your main draw matches, you will always be guaranteed to have a back draw. Not only that, but you can actually be in the back draw and win the entire tournament. It's a very weird concept. So everybody, even if you're out of the first round, you're still fighting for your life because you can win the gold medal. Gold medal meaning winning the entire thing. So if you win the back draw, you actually play the main draw winner for the championship with some contingencies. I think if you win the back draw and you're playing the gold medal match, meaning you're, you're playing the winner of the main draw, you have to win the best out of three, um, first two 11, one by two. And on top of that, if you do beat them best out of three, then you play a set to 15, win by two, I believe as well. So it's just very, very different, very foreign compared to uh, a typical tennis tournament. You know what's not foreign though? Hitting like and hit subscribe and hit that notification bell if you want to see more vlog content and pickleball content that's coming out regularly on top of match play. Okay, so Lifetime Fitness in Lakeville, Minnesota, which is about what, um, 30 to 35 minutes south of downtown Twin Cities, uh, St. Paul and Minneapolis, is absolutely huge. I was talking with some of the employees here and they actually said this is one of the busiest clubs as an individual facility in all of America, all of the US. And Lifetime is a chain. I think there's about five to seven of them inside of the Metro Minneapolis area. And also there is one in Brookfield, Wisconsin, which is a little bit west of me in uh, near Milwaukee, Wisconsin, in the suburbs of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. So it's just super awesome to be here. I mean, just just look at this place.
that always twists and turns Gave up on your sanity to hide behind the devil Cause you think you'll live forever Saying never getting old I the think the natural in the world alone No one ever told you that you have to live for something But in the end you will be nothing I couldn't record my fifth round match um, because of where it was. There was not like a bench or a chair and I didn't have my actual stand-up tripod uh, to get anywhere near an acceptable angle. Um, but I played a former tennis player. He played at a D2 college of a nationally ranked Division II NCAA team. Um, but I ended up losing, um, I think, 15-11. I, ha I had my chances. He, he was a shot maker. And his tennis background definitely showed him that. He burned me up the line with his uh, backhand quite a bit and some of his running forehands. And he missed a little bit at the net, a few volleys, and I think he missed a key overhead. But overall, his athleticism just uh, overpowered me, similar to how I felt like I overpowered my round three and round four opponents. So I I'm interested to see if anybody at this event um, saw the same thing as I did, where there was a big, big overlap. Because typically, there should be a little bit of an overlap between 4-0 and 4-5. But there definitely shouldn't be any overlap between 4-0 and 5-0, and especially between 4-0 and, or sorry, 4-5 and the open level. So, yeah, it, there, there's a lot of overlap, and you know, I'm not saying there's it's an excuse. It's just something I noticed. But um, yeah, he uh, he kicked my butt. <laughs> All right, it's Saturday, and today is. Men's doubles. Oh, whoops. It's also checkout day. So it's not snowing, thankfully. It's not that cold, it kinda is, but still a little bit nippy in Minnesota. So I've got about a 10 minute drive. Um, I think our match starts at 9.30. It's 8.30 right now. Unfortunately, we couldn't warm up as early as uh, Will, my doubles partner and I wanted to. So I'm gonna do the hotel checkout now and then Head on over to the tournament site. Yeah. Is there something wrong with my hair? Front desk lady said, have a good trip. I said, you too. Yeah. I think I'm gonna be awkward until the day I die. So Will and I took about um, 15 to 20 minutes on warming up in one of the side courts before we all got kicked off. It honestly looks like every single court is just absolutely taken. It's not even, it's not even practicing. They're no, all matches. They're matching yeah. first round right now. Yeah. We were playing like 8.45, 8.30, it's yeah. just practicing. And it's a beautiful sight, and as Will, who's obviously a much more accomplished tennis player in college and in juniors, I mean, you agree that this atmosphere is just absolutely like what tennis needs. It needs, it needs this kind of environment. Yeah. That tennis is too, is too slow and it's got this pace. Yeah, so it's really nice that I mean, yesterday or two days ago, I was watching Tyson McGuffin play literally courtside in one of his main draw matches before he played yeah. uh, in, in, the, in the center yeah. court, in the show court. It's really immersive. You're yeah. really involved. It's really, that's why people like it. Yeah. It's people like it a lot. Yeah, so if you guys are tennis players and you guys want that feeling of almost like community, almost a cult. Just, scary, words, so, scary words, scary words. Scary words. <laughs> Seriously, check out just any pickleball event near you. Even if you're not playing, just look at the atmosphere and be a viewer. But honestly, if you're already playing tennis, pickleball's not that far off. No, if you want to get into the involvement tournaments, go on pickleballtournaments.com. That's where you'll find everything. Literally everything on there for tournaments. I'll leave a link to that down in the, in the description. Yeah, the description. that thing. That thing. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just waiting for our match to be called. It is uh, currently 9.18. And we'll have this report for you guys. So we'll see you shortly. The doubles overall was, oh man. Um, we, we lost the first round. It was competitive. Um, so we were waiting around watching the pros play and, and the pros warm up like Tyson McGuffin, uh, Jay, and a lot of the more famous uh, notable ones in, in the pro circuit. Um, 
Yeah, we we were in it in the first match. Fortunately, based on my tone, we didn't win it. Um, there are some things that we needed to work on, needed to brush up on. And then the second round match, we just got absolutely spanked by uh, a very, very good team. We were very, we were actually very surprised that they even lost one of the rounds because we played them in the back draw. So um, me, me and Will came away uh, with a lot of points that we need to work on, um, specifically net play. But me, me and Will are definitely gonna be working on that. And that's expected, it really is. Because the thing is, before this match even started, before this tournament even started, Will and I like were basically single specialists. So doubles is, if you think tennis singles is a different game from tennis doubles, pickleball singles is a completely different world compared to pickleball doubles. It requires a very, very different skill set. A lot, lot of more soft skills instead of just banging the ball the entire time. So yeah, I got double stuff to work on. <laughs> Takeaway from this is, um, I can't wait to do it again. Um, obviously, I want results to be different. I want to win. That's why I'm doing this, because I want to win, along with improving. And I want you guys to win. I want you guys to get better when it comes to pickleball or tennis or whatever you guys want to aspire to be as your hobby. Maybe even a profession. But this won't be the last of it. It will not be. There's too much work to do to give up now. So if you guys haven't already, hit like, hit subscribe. As always, happy dinking.